Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is your extra, extra, read all about it for December 13th, 2020. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So, yeah, extra, extra, read all about it for December 13th, 2020. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to see what kind of involvement we have here. Okay, this might resonate with somebody. Let's see what's out there. <laughs> uh, all right. Extra, extra, read all about it. What is the involvement here for December 13th, 2020? Anybody involved? Anything from this deck involved in this reading? All right, for the viewer. Just for the viewer, right? A special for you. <laughs> all right, you guys. Extra, extra, read all about it. What kind of involvements do we have here with this reading today for... December 13th of 2020. Ooh. Okay, something fell on the floor. I gotta get it before Brian eats it. <laughs> Brian the Destroyer, that's his new name. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm just gonna set these to the side. Okay. Let's see, let's, let's see what this stuff is here. Alright, so we could have somebody that lives uh, by the ocean or is wanting to go visit uh, maybe an island or something like this. Okay. We also have that time is of the essence here. Okay, so time is of the essence in this situation. Somebody is beginning to see something clearer now. Right? Somebody is opening their eyes to a situation uh possibly a situation where grandparents are involved these are grandparents with the grandchild so something like that right and also we have here uh somebody uh this is a mediterranean city right very highly populated densely populated uh somebody may be visiting or um something like that you know i don't know somebody might be living in this type of area okay all right so these cards have been pre-shuffled. Let's go ahead and find out what is, you know, the general energy, right? So this extra, extra, read all about it for December 13th, 2020. General energy is. All right, we've got the three of rods, all right? Somebody's waiting for something or somebody's, you know, somebody's waiting for something to come in or somebody's waiting for news, somebody's waiting to leave, somebody's waiting for something right and so that's the energy somebody's waiting it looks like it's somebody wanting to catch a ride or something i don't know that's what the that's the energy i'm feeling too so that might resonate with somebody out there okay all right so we have here for this extra extra read all about it for december 13th 2020 december 13th 2020 december 13th 2020 December 13th, 2020. Let's see what this is real quick. Yeah, these are all reverse. These are, I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> so there is a cycle that is not coming to an end due to a faulty marriage, right? Somebody can't hold on, uh, can't, uh, somebody is letting go of a marriage uh, that they were feeling trapped in, right? No longer feeling trapped, though, okay? Um, there is going to be a message coming in, a swift communication of somebody um, not ending a situation involving um, a marriage that's not going well, right? Um, but somebody, the main focus here is that somebody wants to work something out with somebody who they've let go of, all right, or who's letting go of them, yeah, somebody may have let go of an individual and somebody's trying to come back to try and fix things. They're coming in quickly. They want to relay this information or speak to them about a marriage that's not going well. And they want to work things out. I'm, I'm kind of feeling a sense of urgency here. 
Um, so somebody might be in a relationship that's really coming to an end, like for reals, for reals. And somebody might be coming back to catch up with somebody who ended it with them. But they're coming to tell you something. Maybe like to wait for them or... But you know what, you guys, tell, you know, tell them, you know, come back when it's done then or some, I don't know. I don't even know how to handle something like that, to be quite honest. How do you handle something like that? Because you would have been the person that they were cheating on in their marriage. You know what I'm saying? So it's a kind of a, kind of a funky feeling there, right? What is this? Ace of Cups, you see? Somebody's coming back to say that they love you or they want to be with you or start something new with you that they were trapped in a situation That they couldn't get out of and they finally they finally uh, were able to cut free from it to let go of it And when it was a bad marriage that somebody didn't want to end But now there's a message coming in a message that somebody may want to create some sort of stability and you know work things out with somebody uh, that they want to start some fresh uh, something fresh and new with right it's almost like this person is waiting like for their ride hurry up and get here you know because they want to relay this message I mean you know there's a phone <laughs> you know I don't know I don't know you know what I'm saying there's a phone emails you know there's all kinds of ways to communicate with people but somebody feels here that they have to actually go there I guess I go to somebody's place I'm feeling come to your place visit you uh maybe they're making sure i mean i don't know maybe they want to see something for themselves right that's an insecurity stopping by to see for themselves if there's any you know kind of something going on right yeah that's possibly what it is um this person is coming in this person is coming in quickly right but they don't really have any information to give like i told you this person is, uh, the, the information that's coming in will definitely be about a failed marriage, right? Um, they're coming in to speak to the Empress about this. What's this last card? Knight of Cups in the reverse. And the Knight of Cups is usually not a really, not a very, you know, committing kind of person. They like to give their emotions around, right? But this, there's a Knight of Cups that's, that's possibly coming in, but this person is not very, doesn't have a lot of emotions here, but they want to work something. Okay, it's because they're being, they're trying to be serious with you. They're trying to show you seriousness, right? And, and they are feeling really, you know, loved up about you and everything, but they're, but this is a, a, a non-committal energy, right? In the reverse, we could say otherwise, though. And this is why this person is coming kind of like emotionless because they don't want you to think that they're just there for, you know, whatever, you know, this you know, flighty energy, I guess. Um, the problem is, is they're not going to be telling you the entire truth about something, which might be that it hasn't ended yet. The marriage has not been finalized, you know. So they might be saying, oh, yeah, the marriage is over, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. But it might not actually be over. This is what I mean, okay? So there might be a little bit of deception here for somebody out there. Now, I, I don't know which side you're on, but this is what's happening, okay? Let's go ahead and find out here what comes out here for the uh, sacred tarot, psychics, tarot, sacred something. I don't know, you know, these cards. <laughs> Uh, a psychic tarot of the heart or something. I don't know. But, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. See what's coming out here for this extra, extra. Read all about it. This is for December 13th, 2020. December 13th, 2020. Right? December 13th, 2020. December 13th, 2020. It's like pulling teeth, right? It's like they don't want to come out or maybe I'm not, you know, catching the right ones. Okay, there's one. One more, please. There it is. I think that's enough. Let's see. <clears throat> 
All right, so first off, we have share the love, okay? So somebody here is definitely wanting to share the love into another direction that they're just not telling you that they're not done with the last love. So <laughs> make sure you look out for that, okay? Um, move. <clears throat> Some of you might be moving away from this situation. Somebody might be moving away from the situation. Or somebody might be trying to make some quick, swift movement towards you uh, to because they don't want you to let this go. <clears throat> this is what I'm seeing, okay? Sorry, let me get a drink real quick. <clears throat> all right we have confront so yeah this person's coming to confront you well somebody is coming to confront another person okay <clears throat> that's what's happening here they're going to confront them that's why they're not coming all loved up like this because they don't really know what they're going to run into here right so they got their guard up a little bit so somebody's coming in they're going to they're be going to be moving quickly because they're going to confront something now this could this could be confronting you in an issue that they have trauma from, at, from childhood. Something, some insecurity. That's why they're actually coming over to look, right? This is a sense of insecurity that someone has. It's rude, right, to come over and just drop by anybody's house unannounced. But this person has some sort of insecurity where they need to, like, sneak up and they need, they need to see what's there on their own. You know, <clears throat> I mean, you know, if you're not doing anything wrong, it's not a big deal. I'm sure, you know, whatever. But, you know, if that's a rude thing to do for those of you out there that didn't know that, that's rude to do to anyone. Okay, just saying. And when you do do those kinds of things, it shows your insecurity. Okay, it's always best to, you know, announce that you're going to be stopping by. Not a big deal. Right? Anyhow. Feeling alone, right? So this person may be feeling alone right now uh, because of this, you know, poor choice in marriage or union of, with somebody, right? Feeling alone and, and possibly thinking about, you know, this empress now. Since we have the empress there, this person is feeling alone, thinking about this empress, wanting to confront the empress and and their fears of whatever, right? They could have just some internal fears that are really plaguing at them, and it's like nothing. Like they're gonna, they could go maybe see what is the Empress doing? Oh, she's having orgies. Oh, and what does she do? She's home knitting, watching Netflix or something. You know, uh, you know what I mean? Sitting with the dog. You know, it's like somebody is is just thinking, overthinking maybe. You know what I'm saying? Now we do have giving and receiving. So, you know, somebody is ready to come and give to this empress because maybe this empress has uh, already given to this person a lot and they have received a lot. I do see here we have the number five, right? Let's see what the numbers we have. We have three, protected, ascended masters, seven, the number of spirit, 18, reduces to nine, almost a closing to a cycle. Somebody's going to overcome this trauma. Feeling alone, five, change. Somebody's going to be making some changes in their life. Six, giving and receiving. Six, the number of the lovers. It's going to be an equal give and take, and it's going to be healing for two people. <clears throat> we do have one more card, you guys. I thought that was enough, but we do have one more. Let's find out what that final card is for somebody out there. This is a pretty decent reading, I guess, you know, for uh, if this resonates with anybody going through some sort of uh, childhood trauma involving, I, I don't know what that would involve, to be quite honest with you, when people just want to drop by and, and see because they're suspicious, I don't, I don't know, and that's something that comes from childhood, like, you know, maybe somebody who spied on you as a child overdid it, or I don't know, you know what I'm saying, it's not your fault, you know, it, it's nobody's fault that they're like that as an adult, they were taught that, so, you know, um, you know, you gotta cut people some slack. What's that final card? Dang, you know, <laughs> shoot. <clears throat> All right, take the lead. Take the lead. This deck has a lot of cards that say take the lead, right? Uh, 
or um, yeah and, and you know what uh, I think the other card that does have this that says take the lead on it I swear to you guys it's the Emperor card this says take the lead it doesn't show the Emperor so it shows a hand you know holding a fireball you know and it's a number three ascended masters protection right but take the lead that's on the Emperor card so and that's funny how I recognize that and we have the Empress right here so is it possible that this person that's actually not really showing themselves here yeah is there let me just no they're not you guys they're not showing themselves I bet you it's the Emperor you guys because we have to take the lead I'm being reminded of the card that the Emperor has on there you know take the lead on it also and we have the Empress here so possibly after this person does take the lead and go through all this stuff maybe he becomes the Emperor yeah let's um, see what we had here on the bottom of the deck oh shit you guys and I just saw 1616 reduces down to 7 7 double digit number of spirit I mean ugh. look we have the lovers so we have two lovers here oh my god and they're soulmates these I, I would bet I would bet you that these two were twin flames and because it's 11 11 and because there's all this healing and taking the lead we have the Emperor and the Empress going on I bet you that these two have graduated to become you know the best versions of themselves to come together to each other right not as twin flames no we don't want those but as twin flames that have transformed into you know good soulmates that are ready to be these two lovers right here right the right way you know you know just up until the point to where you know they're good for each other and then they heal each other the rest of the way type of energy right very nice and all of this happened through you know being stabbed in the back because that's what that twin flame kind of journey it's all about backstabbing and deception and all that business but I do see that these two I, I have a feeling that these two soulmates have have healed a lot of their traumas this one has still has to go through this it's it's confronting something still almost there though not quite um this is not going to resonate for like to happen in one day you guys come on now all right <laughs> this is a timeless reading all the readings i have on here are timeless so this is this is a big story going on here this is like weeks long of healing this is not but it's coming out here so you know take it or leave it you know pretty much <coughs> somebody's going through this though somebody's going through this extensive healing after being stabbed in the back two individuals who became the best versions of themselves so they can be together as lovers right possibly couldn't be together before because they needed that healing manifesting right truth right hell yeah and then the Sun card this is the happiest card in the deck this is illumination this is happiness joy harmony togetherness <laughs> this is a very nice reading whoever's this is for there's a yes okay there's issues here but who doesn't have issues we got to do them we got to go through them right and this is a very you know this is a very warm reading I'm feeling you know a warm reading of healing you know very nice you guys very nice <clears throat> so I don't know whoever's energy that was you know what I'm saying so um, yeah if this resonated with anybody don't forget to subscribe like comment and share right I want to I want to know if this is because this is some of the readings I have are kind of nice I'm, I'm just curious if anybody's going through any of that you know because there's there's transformation and healing and all that and I'm just curious as to you know because I, I have noticed because I, I do have a hard time reading for myself but I have noticed here and there that some of the things I do kind of resonate with some of the stuff and, and it's because I'm focusing more you know I'm focusing more on the reading 
and and when things pop up I'm, I'm trying not to focus all on me because I'm trying to for for all of us and so when I think of it that way I also think of that well that could resonate that doesn't resonate that might resonate you know what I'm saying you gotta just kind of feel it out I gotta do the same thing you guys do you know and uh, so yeah um, but yeah also you guys don't forget to keep it true love energy right happy friendly loving types we have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.